my name is Tommy McGee, and I'm here from Macomb. I'm really born in a mid-county, but I moved here to Pike County in 1947. As an uh, adult, I would say I had a little old job when I was a kid, uh, but my first job was at the Macomb Milling Company. I started work there in 1955. Uh, worked there until uh, some 10 years, uh, 56, uh, I mean 66. I left there and I went to Cone Coca-Cola Bowling Company and um, I stayed there for 33 years. But there's something that's interesting to me about the Coca-Cola Company. This big building was going up a little country boy saw so all the two befores in this big building and I told my brother I said man that's a huge building that is some building I said uh, you know, there's a lot of people who work there and uh, I said it's probably going to be a lot of people who work there and I never had an idea I was nine years old and I got a job there and I worked there for 33 years Years. And there's a many things that have changed in uh, Macomb. The areas that we see now that is built up with uh, the mall and all of the malls, uh, all that place was, a lot of those places were vacant. I got into singing and uh, but I got into singing before I left for Mid County. I got into singing because my daddy used to sing. My daddy used to sing vocal music. And we used to uh, be in the cotton field picking cotton. And uh, he would hear the song, and me and my mother, him and my mother, and we all, we, we would just sing. Some people ask me now, sometimes when I sing, I have had this question asked to me, and I don't consider myself a person that can sing that well. And they asked me, said, where did you learn how to sing at? And I look at them, I learned how to sing in the cotton field. And they really think I'm telling a joke, but that's why I got more, most rehearsals in the cotton field when we was picking cotton. And people all look and think of the changes that have been made. There has been some good changes. There has been things changed for the good changed and uh, far and it causes people's heart shifts but that's gonna be in our lives we will never live in a period of time that everything is going to be comfortable with but I'll say this and and I mean it from my heart when you talk about changes when you talk about changes you can change the buildings you can change the school system you can chain uh, wedges on the job, but it's not very much going to be succeeded if you don't change your heart. If you don't be chained from the inside, the outside changes are not going to, uh, the outside changes is not going to be very much if you don't change from the inside. So I, I, I would just like to say this. I, I look at our young people, we, you have great opportunities, you have opportunities that I didn't have, I had opportunities that my daddy and mother didn't have, and, and there's going to be opportunities to come. So, let, 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 let me say something about Macomb when I said changes, and when I seen the build-up, when I look at the build-up in Macomb, a lot of people laugh at me when I tell them that I remember when you couldn't go no further hard road. Delaware Avenue. Over there was our medical art building is. That was part of the airport. Over there, uh, uh, as I say, where, where, where medical art building, that was the airport. And you, you, you couldn't go very far. 55 Highway, man. I never thought I'd live to see a big, beautiful highway like that. But they started that highway. In 59, I believe, and, and, and it's just a lot of changes. And so when we look at the things that have changed in Macomb, we can't only look at the mayor, 
the governor, the sheriff, the chief of police. We have to look at the Lord and see what the Lord has done and what he can do and what he is going to do and we just wait on him. This is an opportunity that I never thought that I would have. I, 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 used, to, I, I, I used to hear people say, tell me some man said, you work hard and you don't retire. I was something like 19 years old. I said, man, I never live long enough to retire. But look what I, I am. I am retired. And I thank God for it.